Hello and welcome back to Nerds App. So today we're going to be looking at a Decky plugin which will allow you to install pretty much any launcher on your Steam Deck and that means you can finally work your way through that Epic Games back catalogue. So first of all you're going to need Decky installed on your Steam Deck. If you don't have that installed or you're not sure what that is, don't worry I've got you, I'll take you through the steps now, it's really easy. If you already have Decky feel free to skip ahead. So if you're not sure what Decky is, it's basically a really cool add-on for your Steam Deck that allows you to fully customize things. So for example, my home screen here is fully customized where you've got these different colors and backgrounds and things like that. That's thanks to a plugin from Decky. You can also do things like boot animations and I've got a video on that here if you'd like to watch that. But for this video, what we're interested in is the non-Steam Launchers plugin. So first of all, to install Decky, all you need to do is hold down the power button on your Steam Deck and go into desktop mode. Once in desktop mode, open your browser, and now you just need to navigate to decky.xyz. Okay, so now select the download option there, go into your downloads folder and you should have this file. Select continue, and the installation will start. Now, if you've already set a super user password on your Steam Deck, you can enter it here. If you haven't set one, it will set one for you, and that will be decky with an uppercase D and an exclamation mark at the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter my super user password that I've already set. To bring up the keyboard on the Steam Deck, by the way, you just hold down the Steam button and press X, or you can plug in an external USB keyboard. So because I've already installed Decky, I'm getting the option to update, but you should get the option to install. I'm just going to select OK. Now that's finished, all we need to do is go back to the desktop, close out of there, and we can choose return to gaming mode. Okay, so back in gaming mode, select the menu button and you should now find on this menu on the side, you should have an additional option for Decky. Now, we need to install the non-Steam launchers plugin and because that's still in testing phase, we need to go over to settings here, which was that cog at the top. And then on the store channel, we can change that from default to testing and then we can go back and then we can select the marketplace icon just up here. And now you should see that we're in this testing store channel, which is what we want. So if we search in there for non-Steam, and as you can see, we've now got the non-Steam launchers option. So if we choose install and install again, and now in the Decky menu, we've got an additional option for non-Steam launchers. So we'll just go into there. Now, before we get into any of these options here, I would recommend turning on the auto scan games option. And what that basically does is automatically adds games to your library when you install them through these additional launchers. So I'm going to turn that on. Now the auto game scanner is compatible with quite a few launchers and that list is forever growing, but it's worth noting that it's not compatible with all launchers. So you may have to manually go through certain launchers to launch games. Keep that in mind. So now as you can see here, we've got the option to install game launchers and we've also got streaming sites as well. So this is really cool. You can go in here and you can install shortcuts to things like Xbox Game Pass, uh, Netflix, Prime, you name it. But let's focus on the game launchers. So this list is pretty self-explanatory. So we can choose to install Epic Games. Let's say we want GOG, Battle.net, the EA app. And let's say we want Rockstar as well. Once we've done that, you can choose to put them in separate folders, but I don't see the need for that, so we just select Install. And now it's just a case of waiting for all those launches to install in the background. Okay, so they've now all installed and it's taken us back to the installation screen. I'd actually recommend at this point that you just reboot your Steam Deck just to make sure you've got a nice clean install there. I have found if you don't do that, sometimes it can be a little bit glitchy when you try and load them up for the first time. So let's just do a restart. Okay, so now we've rebooted, all we need to do is go into our Steam library and under the non-Steam heading, you should see all of the launchers. So there's Battle.net, you can see EA's there, Epic, GOG, and Rockstar should be somewhere down here. There, there we go. So let's go into Epic Games and check it out. And as you can see, because this is launching for the first time, it's going to have a couple of updates to install, and it's also going to ask us to log in. But once we're logged in, I will install a game and show you how it should appear in your Steam library. Okay, so now we're logged into Epic Games, let's install a game. And as you can see, now that's installed, we've had a notification to tell us that a shortcut has been added to our Steam library. So let's go and check that out. And there it is. So we should be able to launch this directly from here. And you can do all the usual things like set up individual control configurations, things like that, as if it was any other Steam game. 
select play. Now you might notice that launching is slightly slower than other games because it's actually loading up Epic Games in the background before it runs the game. And as you can see, here we are in Albo, which is running via Epic Games. And it really is as simple as that. Thanks again to Mororoy for creating the non-Steam Deck launcher and the Decky plugin. If you're having any trouble installing this, following this guide, feel free to go back to my old video. It's a different way of installing it without using Decky, but it's still absolutely valid. Thanks for watching, see you next time.